Hello, this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon! Let's head on through the Cashua Glacier. You know, I always thought glaciers were supposed to be on a body of water. Like it was just a big chunk of ice that's always, like, I don't know, floating around or something. So I actually looked that up earlier today, and, well, apparently you can have glaciers on land. I always thought they would just be called mountains, but, well, apparently not. Yeah, you learn something new every day. Okay, well, we got a lot of new enemies around here. Most of them are weak to fire! Like the penguin there. Or a penny. But anyway, okay, so let's see. The land skater, I want to take that out first. Uh, that guy is weak to fire. And relatively easy to damage. Unfortunately, the... Rocky Turtle there. Yeah, I want to crowd control him with uh, Magic Six Stone because he will kill you with a fire attack that hits your entire party with those cannons on its shell. Holy cow! And that'll really hurt Mero, even with her uh, with her high magic defense. Did I get it? Yeah, I thought it might have been a split second too late on that hit. That second hit comes in really fast. It's not as hard as Summon Four Gods, but it's up there. Now, I'm probably not going to be having Dart attack too much because I've nearly mastered... Uh, what was it? Mas Madness Hero? Another thing you could do with this area is with the Rocky Turtle there, since it's Earth Elemental, you could bring along Albert with his Twister Glaive. Yeah, the reason that works with Albert and, well, particularly Dart with the Heat Blade, both of them have really high base strength. That helps them out a lot. Yeah, I thought I was late on that hit too, but no, we're doing all right. But yeah, their strength is so high, it doesn't matter how weak the weapon is, almost. Oop, a little too fast on that one. Oh well, not doing too bad. Yeah, I probably should have used speed up on Hashel or something to make up for that missed hit, but that's okay. We're getting to the point where the timing of these additions are just so fickle. Sometimes I feel like I'm hitting it dead on and it just doesn't go through. Oh well. And you need so many hits. It's pretty difficult to hit that many timings consecutively like that. But anyway, if you didn't hold on to a heat blade, well, I would give that one to Dart right now. Now let's see. To the left there, that's what I was telling you about last time. Oh, and by the way, there is that first chest I passed up. I got that in the previous episode. Okay, so like I was saying, if you try to go... Oh, we can go over here. Hmm. I think if you continue going up there to the snowfield, like the sign says, the game will block you with an invisible plot wall. I think. I thought it was up by that intersection there, but... Well, I guess I was wrong or something. Okay, how are you doing on those additions there? Okay, two more. And then I won't be attacking with you anymore, so everyone else can get a turn. But anyway, okay, new weapon for Mayor there. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Well, I suppose it's more like a blunt stick, but okay. But anyway, all right, a couple more new enemies here. Let's see, the guy on the left, Freeze Knight. He's not too much to worry about, but there is the uh, Icicle Ball there. I think he can do that physical, uh, what is it? The physical shield that blocks all of your attacks there. So let's see, let's go after the Freeze Knight with Maru. And I'll have the guys 
go after the Icicle Ball. Both of them are weak to fire, so that'll help out Dart quite a bit. Hopefully I... Oh, okay. I was going to say, hopefully I can kill him before he vanishes away, but there it is. Okay. So, yeah. Let's take that guy out so we don't have to worry about him trying to T-1000 me. What do you think you are? Stretch Armstrong? Did I get it? Phew! Uh, that second... The counters on Cool Boogie always make me nervous. Well, that was easy enough. Well, those are all the enemies that are weak to fire. There's just one more guy that we well, haven't met up with. Hmm, I think that's the tier 2 item. The one that you have to boost, but it hits all enemies. I think. I don't really use the tier 2 items very much. They're good early in the game, but now, mm, not so much. Well, I guess there's the Dancing Rays that I got there, but what is that one? Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't bother using that. Let me see. Can, can I keep going up here? Okay. Um, are you going to tell me to stop? Ah, there we are. What's going on? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I guess you can't go this way. I misjudged when that happened. Okay, well, there's only one way we can go now. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is where we have some shops. Yes, we do. How these guys are staying alive, I don't know. Must be the warmth in their hearts. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Have JRPGs taught you nothing, viewers? And for some reason, they call them number two and number four, if I remember my Spanish correctly. Good for you guys. Thanks for being here. Sounds like a plan. But anyway, yeah, they do have quite a few things that I want to buy here. Let's see. One thing that I wasn't exactly planning on, but I'll get anyway. Let's see. I want to get a Sun Rhapsody because I'm going to equip Dart with the amulet later to help out with a certain enemy coming up here. And let's see. Can I buy weapons from you? There you are. Okay. Yeah, lots of good stuff that we can get here. Let's see. Well, if you got Miranda, you can get, use that. Why not? Let's see. Flimbers. That's pretty good. I don't think it's fire elemental, though. Yeah, it just stuns an enemy. So, kind of weird like that, but okay. A little better weapon there for you. And let's see. For the two guys, we want the Saint armor to help with their SP levels. And I want to get one robe for each of the ladies there. Oh, no, that's all. That's all I need. Okay, and yeah, I would never use that. So, I think we're in good shape. Oh, well, okay, I'll keep an eye out for them. But anyway, let's see, what do we got here? Oh, that might be useful against the boss coming up here. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. I could have bought some burnouts back at Bueno, but nah. I've got another plan in store. Um. Oh, right. Yeah, this is the way. Okay, well, anyway, in order to move around this area, yeah, we got these little icicle or still stalact... I forget if it's st stalagmites or stalagmites. It's kind of hard for me to remember because they attach both to the ceiling and the ground. So I don't know what you would call those. Well, another dancing ray might be able to use that coming up eventually. But anyway, yeah, that's basically a dead end outside of the item there. And yeah, you just pretty much go up and down all these things. How you're climbing these icicles, I don't know. You got me on that one, viewers. Let's see, we want to go down the right path first. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't just jump down from one place to the next, but... All right, our third phoenix plume. If I had a magical hat, that would have been my second one. But I didn't, and I needed something to take care of my magic defense. Okay, so let's uh, change things up here a little bit. Yeah, there's one more enemy I haven't ran into, but oh well. We'll get there eventually. Okay, so with Dart, 
Let's see, I want to give you the Dragon Helm, mostly for the magic attack boost, because we're going to need him for that. Okay, let's see, give you an amulet, that should help. Okay, hmm. Anything else? I think we're good there. Yeah, mm -hmm. Keep him on the heat, heat blade, though, you might as well. Let's see, Hashel, I want to give you a Phoenix Plume to help out with your magic defense there. Everything else is the same. And Marrow, hmm. Yeah, I think you're pretty good there. Let me see the difference with the sparkle dress, though. Hmm. I think I actually want the extra magic defense of the sparkle dress there. It's not a big deal either way. And if I had a whole bunch of burnouts, I might give Meru, where is it, a magical ring? But I have a different plan in store. Let's see, how are we doing there? Okay, we need to heal up. Desperately. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. And use that on Dark there. That should be good enough for the fight up ahead. And make a backup, just in case. Now, even though I've mastered Madness Hero, I still want to keep Dart on it. What was that sound? Hmm. But yeah, I still want to keep Dart on it for refilling his SP gauge. It's really, really good for that. Let's see. What do we got over here? Oh, I think that's the Tier 3 Water or Ice Elemental item. Let's see. Okay, yeah, let's go up here. Oh! Uh -oh. Is that your stomach, Kongo? Mm, big guy needs big food. Well, there's a whole bunch of monsters around here. What's the difference? Well, they got, I don't know, polar bears or something. Oh. Well, maybe. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm on a diet. For boss time! Now, I'm going to try and show a trick here with the wind Wendigo. It's the whole reason why I've been saving the Satchet. General Grievous, is that you? Eh, pretty much. But anyway, okay. Let's see. Unfortunately, Dart got his turn first. So I'm going to use power up on Dart because this guy is weak to fire. And Dart will be able to do really well either with his Heat Blade or a uh, spell. But anyway, let's get speed up going on Dart then. He's going to be the focal point of my offense, even if I had a whole bunch of burnouts. And I think we're good. Let's go. Oh, I should have used speed down on the guy. Well, I'll have Hashel do that soon. Uh-oh. This is going to hurt. Oh. Lord. Ow. Let me guess. Miss. Miss! Oh, okay, I guess he didn't miss. Whoa! How are you getting your turns that quickly? I haven't even... Oh, right, the Hashel attacked him. I was going to say, I haven't even done anything to you yet. Nothing significant, anyway. But anyway, okay, yeah, let's go with speed down, so that way he doesn't get his turn very often. Now, the first part of the fight is pretty straightforward. There's just the Windigo himself, and that's it. But then, some things change as the battles go on. Man, it must have been a while since I used a Dragoon form. We've had so many fights where we really shouldn't use them, or not very much. But I definitely want to go with Final Burst! Yay! But it is really good against him. It would be even better if I had a Magical Hat, but I don't. We do get a magical hat on disc 4 eventually, but by then it's almost too late. I mean, I use it every now and then. It's got really good magic defense too. Wow, look at that damage! Man, nice shooting, Tex. 
But anyway, you can kind of see at the, well, the middle of this guy, whatever the hell that thing is. Well, that's his heart. And eventually we're going to be able to attack it. But not right up front like that. I might have some party members defend if I need to regenerate some HP. Particularly Hassle there. Or Meru, that too. Hmm. Well, I already used one, so let's see. Let's have you guard for now. I want to try and keep everyone above 50% of their max HP if I can. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to outright kill the Wendigo. Not without the burnouts, but I'll give it a try. If I can, great. If not, I'll show you the ultimate way of killing him. If it even works, I don't know. I didn't practice this earlier today. But I've heard that there's a way to basically one-shot the guy. But right now we can't do that because all we can do is target the Wendigo itself. Eventually we'll be able to target the heart, I guess. Whatever that thing is. Wow, I was surprised I was able to hit those because I had a bad camera angle. Yeah, you gotta be really careful with stuff like that here because they all just blend in with the background. Ooh. Thought I was a little late on that one. Okay, one more. Oh, okay, we got two more. Two. Two more. Ah, ah, ah. Let's see, with this guy... Hmm, he actually has more magic defense than defense. If I was really good at, dra at Dragoon Editions, I might use that. Another thing you could do is use the Dragoon special ability so Dark could automatically complete his additions. He could probably hit this guy for at least as much damage as Fire... as, uh, what is it? Uh, Final Burst. I almost said Fire Burst, but no, that wouldn't be right. Fire Blast? No, that's another game, viewers. I think. But anyway, okay, we're doing good. Yeah, let's keep on going. Slowing the guy down certainly helps a lot, too. If only there were an item that could reduce his strength, too, along with his speed. Oh, yeah, this is gonna hurt. Seems like this guy can counterattack. He is not that fast. Even without using slowdown. Yeah, he's getting counters somehow. Some way. Well, at least you got ice. Well, you're, you're already water elemental, so. Ow. Okay, yeah, we're going to need to help you two out here. And that's another reason why I don't use the Dragoon special very often. Because, yeah, you lose control of your characters, you can't use items or guard or anything. If Dart had taken a lot of damage, I would have had no problem using the Healing Breeze, but he didn't. I might actually go back to the shop to restock on Healing Fogs and stuff. In fact, I, I'm, I will, because there's going to be more boss fights coming up. Not in succession, but they will be coming up. Before we get access to another shop, anyway. I think these guys... I forget, do these guys stay here after we're done, or do they go away eventually? Now that I think about it, I don't know. But anyway, you saw that dealt less damage because power-up had worn off already. So, yeah, it only works once. If I had bur the burnouts, I might have used power up on uh, Mary there. She could deal more damage with the burnouts than Dart could with the final bursts, but sadly that won't work here. Yeah, I really need to change this camera angle. I do not like the ass cam game. So, are you ever going to, I don't know, do something that lets me target your heart? What's supposed to happen is he does this 
maneuver where he grabs one of your party members and holds them hostage, basically, so you can't access them. And then while he's doing that, or maybe it's after, I forget, he throws out these two snow cannons. So I would use the, uh, what was that called? The gushing magma on him for that. That would let me hit him and the snow cannons. And we would be able to target his heart eventually. And, oh, well, there it is. Okay, good. Okay, and then there's those two snow cannons. Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, we're not in a good position to use the gushing magma. Oh, well. Oh, ah, well, that's easy enough. Huh, I thought those guys had a bit more HP than that, but okay. Yes! Well, if Dart had gotten his turn first, I probably would have had him use the Gushing Magma, but since it's just the two guys, or the one Snow Cannon now, I'm not especially worried about that. And we'll go for a little extra length on today's episode. Okay, here we go. Okay, so once you kill the two Snow Cannons, he opens up. You can target his heart now, and if what I've told, if what I was told is true, the Satchet should be able to kill it in one shot. Hey, hey! All right! Well, normally, the way you're normally supposed to fight him is you attack the heart normally, and you'll always deal one damage to it, no matter what. Oh, nice! Brass Knuckle, that'll be good for Hassel there. And a new addition, just in time. But yeah, if you didn't get the brass knuckle from him, I would recommend farming it. But anyway, with the heart, you're supposed to deal one damage to it, and then you go through that cycle again. Eventually, you will capture one of your party members, you kill the two snow cannons again, you get access to the heart, and you hit it again, and you gotta do that three times. But since the Satchet deals fixed damage, no matter what, I was able to one-shot it. So, alright. Well, that worked out pretty well. But anyway, all right, another item there. I think that's the tier two uh, dark elemental item that requires some boosting. But anyway, let's see. We got that new weapon there. Yeah, let's just bring it to the top there. How much better is that? Eh, it's a little better. And it can, uh, what does that do? Stun, I think. Part Or maybe that was, no, that was the beast thing. Eh, whatever that thing does. But it's stronger. I definitely want to use it. So I want to go back to the... Uh, Peddler's Jair, restock on some healing items, and then we'll continue on. But can we make it to the Tower of Flanville b before it's too late? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!